You've been around radiation your whole life, in sunlight on your way to school, in the dentist's chair, on flights, in bedrooms, on your phone at night. It all feels normal, so normal you stopped thinking about it, but that's where the lie lives. Because the most dangerous radiation you get doesn't come from disasters or reactors. It comes from everyday things you never questioned. Let's talk about the eight of them. Type 1. The Sun We talk about the sun like it's warm, comforting, life-giving. But the truth is simpler. You spend your entire life standing under a nuclear explosion 93 million miles away, and it never turns off. People fear UVB, the burning rays. But UVB is loud. It hurts. It warns you. UVA does not. UVA is the radiation that slips through clouds, like they're not even there. It passes through windows, penetrates deep into your skin, where nerves can't feel pain, and mutates collagen, elastin, and DNA, with no signal that anything is wrong. You don't feel UVA. You only see the aftermath decades later. Wrinkles too deep for ages, sunspots too early for lifestyle, melanomas that took years to reveal the damage you absorbed during car rides and cloudy days. And here's the part almost no one knows. UVA penetrates 20 times deeper than UVB. While UVB burns the surface, UVA attacks the core, the cells responsible for regeneration and long-term DNA repair. That's why dermatologists call UVA the silent killer of skin. Most people think the sun is dangerous at noon, but UVA peaks earlier. It's strongest when people think they're safe. Morning jogs, late afternoon walks, driving with the window down. On a day that doesn't even feel sunny, SPF, it only blocks UVB. The burn, the warning, not the thing doing long-term damage. And tanning. A tan is your body's radiation shield. Melanin rushing to protect DNA. That's already been struck. We romanticize the sun, we praise it, we chase it. But the truth is that the sun is the most consistent radiation source in your life and the one most likely to leave a permanent mark inside your cells. Type 2. Medical x-rays. Medical x-rays are the radiation type people trust too easily. Hospitals tell you what you want to hear. It's a tiny dose. It's nothing dangerous. It's as safe as flying. And they're right. Once. But no one warns you about accumulation. A single chest x-ray is tiny. A dental x-ray is tiny. But CT scans, MRI with contrast, repeated imaging for chronic pain, sports injuries, abdominal symptoms, headaches, each one stacks. On the last, a CT scan of the abdomen can deliver 100 to 500 times the dose of a single film x-ray. 10 CT scans over a lifetime equals the radiation exposure of someone standing a mile from Hiroshima's hypercenter. And here's the part doctors rarely say out loud. Children absorb two to three times more DNA damage per x-ray because their cells are dividing faster and their tissues are thinner. Pediatric CTS are the silent tragedy of modern imaging. Fast, convenient, and often necessary, but also capable of contributing to long-term cancer risk that emerges decades after the scan. The hospital room looks safe, the machine looks clean, the technician looks calm, but every flash of that x-ray tube is ionizing radiation, breaking DNA strands that your cells must race to repair. Most do, some don't. A few make mistakes, and in those mistakes, cancer begins its first silent chapter. People think medical imaging is dangerous when it's done wrong. The truth, it's dangerous when it's done often. Radiation doesn't care how helpful the technology is. It cares how many times your cells were forced to patch themselves back together in the dark. Type 3. Radon gas. Radon gas is the deadliest everyday radiation no one talks about. Not because it's rare, but because it's invisible in every possible way. Colorless, odorless, silent, and rising directly from the ground. Beneath your home, radon is a decay product of uranium. It seeps through concrete, rises through soil, fills basements at night, and quietly irradiates your lungs, with alpha particles far more biologically devastating than anything in cigarette smoke. It is the second leading cause of lung cancer worldwide, right after smoking and the number one cause in non-smokers. But here's the part people never hear. Radon can deliver the radiation equivalent of 200 chest x-rays per year without triggering a single symptom. No cough, no irritation, no smell. Just radioactive particles permanently embedding themselves in lung tissue with each breath. 
And Raiden levels don't rise in abandoned places. They rise in sealed ones, tightly insulated homes, new construction, energy-efficient buildings with airflow too restricted for the gas to escape. People flood the internet with fear about 5G. People panic about microwaves and phone towers. Meanwhile, Redon sits quietly under a billion homes with no conspiracy theory, no protests, no headlines, just cancer registries silently recording its victims. The lie isn't that Raiden is harmless. The lie is that most people never check for it, and the radiation you never measure is always the one doing the most damage. Type 4. Smartphones. This is the radiation type. People fear for the wrong reason and ignore for the right one. No, radio waves from phones do not cause brain cancer. They're non-ionizing and too weak to break DNA. But that's not the danger. The real radiation comes from blue light and chronic low-level electromagnetic exposure messing with the systems that protect your DNA at night. Blue light doesn't burn skin. It burns sleep. It tells your brain. The sun is still up, shutting down melatonin, the hormone your cells need to repair DNA damage accumulated during the day. Without melatonin, your body loses a key defense against age-related mutations. Chronic nighttime phone use keeps your circadian rhythm out of sync, and a disrupted circadian rhythm is linked to higher risks of breast cancer, colorectal cancer, metabolic disease, immune suppression, depression, memory decline. But there's a darker layer. Smartphones emit small electromagnetic fields that don't damage cells directly, but change calcium signaling, alter neuron firing patterns, and increase cortisol the stress hormone that weakens DNA repair and accelerates cellular aging. Most people worry about the wrong problem. They fear the word radiation and ignore the word repair. Radiation isn't dangerous because it hits you. Radiation is dangerous because it overwhelms the systems designed to fix the hits. Phones don't destroy DNA. They sabotage the machinery. That prevents destruction. You don't need cancer to be harmed by radiation. Sometimes all it takes is a lifetime of bad timing. Sleep cycles ruined, hormones disrupted, repair delayed, aging accelerated by a screen small enough to fit in your hand. Type 5. Airport security scanners. You've walked through these more times than you can count. A quick scan, a flash, a board, you're good to go, and you step forward without thinking. But here's what no one ever tells you. Those backscatter scanners don't scan through you. They scan into you. The system fires a thin sheet of low-energy x-rays that bounce off your skin, your clothes, your hair, your jewelry, all while your body quietly absorbs the rest. They tell you the dose is tiny, and it is, if you fly once a year. But if you travel for work, if you fly monthly, weekly, if you're a pilot or attendant, that tiny dose starts to stack into something meaningful. Medical imaging tracks exposure. Airports don't. There's no record of how many scans you've taken. No counter. No lifetime log. Just a machine firing a radiation beam that you have no choice but to walk through if you want to step onto your flight. And the worst part? Sometimes scanners misfire. A software glitch, a calibration error, a single malfunction capable of releasing a burst. Thousands of times higher than expected. Nobody warns the passengers. Nobody warns the staff. Nobody even notices it happened. You just collect the dose and move on with your day. Like nothing touched you, but something did. And that's why this type of radiation is worse than you think because you're exposed without consent, without tracking, and without knowledge. Type 6. Air travel. Everyone knows airplanes fly high, but almost no one realizes just how exposed their bodies become when they leave the protection of the atmosphere at sea level. Earth's magnetic field and thick air shield you from cosmic rays, charged particles from exploding stars millions of light years away. At 35,000 feet, that shield thins to almost nothing. Every hour in the air hits you with cosmic radiation, equivalent to several chest X-rays. On long-haul flights, your body absorbs more radiation than a nuclear plant worker receives. In a week, pilots and flight attendants aren't just tired, they're chronically irradiated. So are frequent flyers, business travelers, and anyone with multiple layovers. In a single day, pregnant passengers aren't warned. People with medical conditions aren't told. Crew members aren't given proper dosimeters. A baby growing inside a passenger is exposed to the same cosmic rays as everyone else on board. Even though fetal tissue is dozens of times more sensitive, you look out the window and see clouds. You feel excitement for a trip. You watch movies. You sleep. But above the clouds, your DNA is being struck by particles older than Earth itself. Cosmic radiation doesn't terrify people because you can't see. It can't feel it. Can't sense it.
it. But if you could, you'd never look at air travel the same way again. Type 7. Granite Tiles Bananas Smoke Detectors This one feels unbelievable because it's too common, too ordinary, too boring. But that's exactly why it's dangerous. Bananas contain potassium-40. Your ceramic plates are glazed with uranium salts. Your granite countertops emit gamma rays. Your brick walls release radon. Your smoke detector holds americium-241, a radioactive isotope so strong that the same amount in a lab would require special licensing. None of this is enough to kill you. None of it is even dangerous alone. But the lie is that background radiation does nothing. It does, just slowly. Any one source won't hurt you, but the combination of all of them, plus air travel, plus sunlight, plus medical scans, plus environmental radon, adds up to a lifetime of low-level DNA stress. The danger isn't the dose. It's the total. People think reactors are terrifying because they're loud, big, obvious. Background radiation is quiet, invisible, everywhere. And it's always there, working on your body, one particle at a time. Type 8. Radiation therapy leakage. Hospitals will tell you their radiotherapy rooms are shielded, and they are as much as the law requires. But shielding isn't perfect, not through floors, not through ceilings, not through old concrete. That shifts and cracks. After decades of use, in many hospitals, a single wall separates a high-dose cancer treatment room from a waiting area full of children, pregnant women, elderly patients, and staff who spend eight hours a day beside that wall. They don't wear protective gear. They don't get monitored. They don't know. The leakage is tiny, far below danger guidelines, but it is real. And for the nurse who passes that hallway hundreds of times a month, or the receptionist who sits a few meters away five days a week, that small leakage becomes a permanent part of their lifetime dose. The lie here isn't that it's dangerous. It's that the number is reported as zero. Radiation is never zero. Zero. Not in a building, with a particle accelerator firing millions of volts into human tissue. For 20 treatments a day, hospitals keep the patients safe. But sometimes, the people who work there carry the cost. You grew up thinking radiation was something that happened in disasters. Chernobyl, Fukushima, fallout zones in movies. But the truth was quieter. You stood under it every day. You slept beside it. You flew through it. You breathed it in your home. You carried it in your pocket. You absorbed it in hospitals. You trusted with your life. The danger was never the big event. It was the small exposure that never felt like exposure at all.